Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at the choice tool in Moodle. So the choice tool is really simple and straightforward. It is you want to take the quick pulse from students about something in the course or you just want to know something from them. It's a one question, simple answer, um, simple selection answer. And so you go into your course, you go to edit mode on as always, and you scroll down to wherever you want that choice to be. You do add an activity or resource. And then, of course, you can find it always under all, or you can find it under activities, and it's this little um, icon right here, choice. So once you put it in, you always want to give it a name, and so it might be something like next week's learning material, materials. Uh, and I might put in here the question, uh, please, please select which learning materials you would like to explore for next week. If I can spell next week. All right. So, as always, I can display this description on the main page or I can just leave it as is. Then we have this option for display mode for the options. So this is the the selections or options that you provide for students. They can be displayed horizontally or vertically. Uh, you can choose what you want. Maybe it's just me, but I tend to like vertically. It just kind of it feels more familiar. Uh, and then you have a couple more options around how you want the selection to go. So you can allow the choice to be updated. So this would mean a student could go back in and change it. Uh, if this was something like selecting readings or, or learning materials for the following week, I would expect I would typically make this available. Uh, allow more than one answer to be selected. Here again, if, if this is the question that I'm asking, I might say yes, and then limit the number of responses allowed. So this question is actually, you can decide if you want different options to only be and to be only choosable by a certain number of people. So here's a good example where you can say, hey, here are these three readings, but I want to make sure we equally or um, have a good spread of who is looking at each of these. So you might say yes. And now you see it tells you how much to limit for each one. So, you know, I might do something like reading one and I will, you know, uh, no more than three. And then video one is no more than three. And audio one is no more than three. And so the idea is ultimately that you can spread out those choices. Um, another way I often am seeing this used is if you want to schedule meeting times with students, you can say, you know, Tuesday at 12 p.m., Thursday at 4 p.m., and Friday at 1 p.m. And each time limit, only one person can select that. So you can have this as a way of also like rooting out where people are situated. Uh, you can play around with this in a couple nice but simple ways. All right, then we get to availability. As always, when do you want uh, allow for responses to start and when do you want them to stop? If you are if you are enabling allow responses from, you can also select to show preview. And all that means is if you were allowing responses from June 24th on and you had the show preview, students could go in and look at it. They just couldn't choose till before till June 24th. Results, you got a couple options here. Do you publish the results to the students? Do you show results after they answer? Show results to students only after the choice is closed? Or allow, sh uh, allow show results to students? So this is really, again, do you want students to be able to see? And in certain cases, this makes plenty of sense. Um, in other cases, it may not. You know, it may not make sense for students to know when, any, when each other's uh, scheduled times are if you're using that for scheduling. But just know that's an option you can provide and that might also help students make their choice depending on what's being asked of them. Show column for for unanswered. This is very, so if you are publishing results, also make sure that they can see um, which ones want, you know, which ones weren't selected. So if there was a reading that wasn't selected or a time slot that wasn't selected, you can say, yes, I want them to see that or no, because that isn't necessarily useful. And then include responses from inactive or suspended students. Um, this is typically students who have left the course or been withdrawn, who have withdrawn from the course. So typically that might not be as useful um, in the 
in having those published results. Um, there may also be some privacy concerns once the student has left the con left the course. So I would always I would default to that having no. We got some regular options here around uh, group around common module settings such as show it on the page now or hold it back. Um, if you want to create these for groups, you can then add, I want this for group A or group B. You play around with restrict access and of course you have activity completion, which in this case I would show show, show when activity is complete. Uh, and those are, they must view the activity, they must actually also make a choice. Uh, and again, you can, ex you can identify when you might want them to do that by. So I'm just gonna do save and display so you can see what we created here. Uh, right, here is the instructions. Uh, this tells you the results of this activity will not be published after you answer. So I know that right off the bat. And then I can actually select what I want and make my choice. So I can save my choice and done, I've completed. And notice I can actually go back and um, change my choice. So, oh, nope, I actually wanna do this one, right? Because we enabled that option for them to change. So that's a choice tool. It's really helpful, you know, especially when you just wanna get a good quick uh, pulse from students. And uh, hopefully this is helpful and gives you some ideas about how you might use it. Thank you so much.